The 2022 WRC season reaches its conclusion with the welcome return of Rally Japan. Among the starters, a familiar name from the world of Formula One, Grand Prix winner Hiki Kovalainen. The Finn recently clinched the All Japan National Rally title and is now about to fulfill a long held ambition to compete alongside the world's elite. All these rounds that I do in Japan are basically just the preparation for that. You know, I've always, uh, even through my racing career, I always wanted to enter a WRC round just uh, to have ticked that box. The expectations will be much lower there. I think it will be much harder to be competitive. Our car is older than most of the cars, and those guys, you know, are proper pro rally drivers. So uh, again, you know, it will be a, it might be a sort of rough landing, <laughs> if you like, you know, and you've been winning some rounds. So, but you know, I'm, I just want to see where we are. Kovalainen following in the tyre tracks of another Grand Prix driver, fellow Finn Kimi Raikkonen, featured last time the WRC visited Japan, recovering from a crash in shakedown to go into Sunday's final loop of stages on course for a points finish, alongside another familiar face, co-driver Kai Lindstrom. All going well until... I just uh, misunderstand a bit the uh, with the note and uh, we slide and I uh, stole the engine and then unfortunately we just back on uh, on the deep ditch so it's just stuck there so there's no damage in the car but uh, that's it. Kimi Raikkonen missing out on a points finish back at Rally Japan in 2010, then a gravel event. Fellow Finn Heiki Kovalainen making his WRC2 debut in this season's finale, with Japan now on tarmac, and the Finns hoping to make the most of local knowledge in his Skoda Fabia R5. Obviously on the tarmac, you know, I have a lot of experience uh, about the tarmac surface, so, you know, it gives, it is easier for me on tarmac, for sure. The gravel will be a lot harder, and uh, on tarmac, some stages, some corners, I, I feel, you know, like, you know, we are on the limit, but not all the time, and, and you know, the, still got some work to do with the pace notes and, and driving, you know, uh, you know, committing to the pace notes 100%. Among the seasoned campaigners looking to finish 2022 in style, outgoing world champion Sebastian Auger. Fresh from victory in Catalonia, the Frenchman won the last time the WRC visited Japan. Then an upcoming young Citroen driver clinching his second WRC victory after a fascinating fight with Petter Solberg. Auger went into the final day in third place in his Citroen C4, going on to overtake Ford's Nico Hevenen and Citroen privateer Solberg to win by 15 seconds. Oh, 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 oh. 